Hi, I'm evangelist Daniel King, and in our services, we've seen over 2 million people give their lives to Jesus Christ. And sometimes when people hear that number 2 million, it's just a big number to them. But I think it's important to remember that behind every number, there is a face. And today, I want to introduce you to Abdul. He is one in a million. Abdul was training to become a leader in the local Muslim mosque. I study Islam in Mahdi Nurul Islamia University. But right before he was scheduled to go for this specialized training, the great gospel crusade came to his town of Kahama, Tanzania. I was going to Oman, but before going to Oman, Jesus saved me. You know, when I was in uh, Kahama, I had met Abdul uh, at a gas station. I, I walked up to him and I, I started to, to witness to him. Jacob was, uh, he, he came to me. The first day he preached me the gospel, but I didn't understand him. And I remember standing there on that field, or on that road next to the crusade field, about a week before the crusade was going to start. And I saw, <clears throat> I saw Abdul come walking down the road with the biggest smile on his face. And uh, I saw him out of, out of the corner of my eye. And, and when, he, when he came over, he said, Jacob, I want to give my life to Jesus. But if I do, I'm going to lose my, my family and my friends. I have a big problem with my family. My father doesn't love me. All family, they don't love me. And I remember some of the, the CFAN team gathered around. When they were preaching the gospel, there is something happened to my life. And I told him, I said, if you, you may lose your friends, you may lose your family if you give your life to Jesus, but if you do this now, I promise you, you're going to gain an army. That boy, Abdul, gave his life to Jesus right there in the middle of the street in Kahama. Now I can't be scared because I am too scared. Because I know Jesus. And he walked into the back of that church. He sat in the middle of the crowd, thousands of people. And, but I was referring to Abdul, which was sitting there right in the church. Everybody began to clap when they found out that he gave his life to Jesus. And the whole church stood up, surrounded him, and gave him a hug. And I remember him uh, breaking down in tears because, in fact, he did gain an army. He came to the crusade. He saw the miracles. And Jesus changed his life forever. I saw the power of God here. So Abdul came to Christ, and now his name is Elijah. Before, my name was Abdullahi Isa Abdul Razak. Now, my name is Elijah. And I believe, uh, just like Elijah, uh, fire from heaven is going to fall. Jesus did not tell us to just make converts. He told us to make disciples. That's why follow-up is so important. My name is Emmanuel Gewe, pastor, World Harvest Church in Kahama. After the crusade, we had 21 days of seminar and he, of course he attended many times and he became a very faithful in, in, in faith coming to the church and I really baptized him later and it was more than happy. Right now he is my church member. He is like my son I can say. This is a testimony to the kingdom of God. I'm so happy since I gave life to Jesus. I'm so happy. 